Well, it's palette challenge time again, and Sterling requires us to show our palette deconstruction process. I didn't do so well deconstructing the palette because I kept breaking it. Welcome to So I resorted to cutting it apart and I tried to get by without cutting some of it and just pulling it apart but then I kept breaking those too. So I went back to cutting and pulling and finally I had a pile of boards from my palette. Hey y'all! Sai here. So for my palette project I was going to make a stool and it's like a fold up type of stool thing. Anyway, uh, my pallet wood is not very strong. So I think I'm gonna try and make this male organizer instead. So I think this will be really good because I'm gonna follow some directions and it'll be good practice for my hobby bench I wanna make later. So I'm gonna try to make this male organizer and I'm just gonna start, yeah. First, I planed down my stack of pallet wood and table sawed it to straightness. And then I glued the boards together because none of them were long enough. Okay, I have all my pieces glued up and I have them stacked how they are titled here. Except I think there's a mistake here because it said dry, drawer sides one, um, but I think there's two sides on that drawer. I've got the drawer bottom, the drawer sides, the drawer back and front, the back of the whole piece, the dividers of the whole piece, the shelf, the ends, and the bottom. So I think I'm gonna go plane those real quick and then we can get started. Woo! Somehow I lost me plug. Then started reading the directions. Okay, this calls for finger joints, and I made a jig here. Let's see if it works. The jig seemed to work pretty well. Here's a close up shot of it. But the teeth kept chipping out, so when I put the boards together, some of the teeth didn't line up. I lined this up and picked off the ones that didn't fit. Look. Some of it worked. Cool. All right. Well, I think uh, on the other side, I think I'm just going to cut this off and glue it. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Cut finger joints. That didn't work out so well, so I'm going to move on to the next one, which is shape the ends. I used this compass to make a half circle and cut that out on both sides. Nice. Now I need to cut the dados in there. Let's move on to the next one now. Now the base can be assembled. So now I can glue up the bottom. I found these things on the wall. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna use it to glue this side together. Those worked so well, I wished I had found them a long time ago. Okay, so the other side ugh, should be easier to glue because it's got the little teeth. Even with all the gaps in the teeth, uh, it fit together pretty well and seems to be holding. I made sure it was square and just left it there. Assemble the base. Okay, check. Shelf and dividers. I made a couple passes to make that slot wide enough, and when I checked it out, it worked well. Now what do I need to do? I need to assemble. Shelf bottom shelf sides. I wanted to wait for those gluer things, so I moved on. I'm gonna try and dovetail these. Let's see. I set up the drawer and marked the ends to cut the tails. 
and then I started to cut the tails and it was a little bit difficult because the board was so thin and and the saw was a little bit difficult to use. I cut out the waste areas and sort of chiseled it. Then used that to mark the pins and cut those out. dovetails and one backwards one again. Can't believe I did that. Marked it and marked the wrong thing. Anyway, I'm gonna try to make it work. By then this was dry and I could take the clamps off. The bottom! Woohoo! Well the instructions say that I'm supposed to make this complicated connection here for my drawer bottom. It says one fourth inch thick plywood bottom or pallet wood bottom uh, and rabbited the edges to leave one eighth inch tongue to fit the grooves. See detail A. Okay, I, I understand the picture, but all the terminology. Psh, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do that successfully. So I did something easy and glued the shelf together, then went back to figure out the diagram. So I cut the rabbit, and then I cut the slots in the sides, and so far it looked okay. Kind of looks like the picture. Nice! Yay! Well, let's see if I can do that for the rest of it. But I got it. Then I glued all of that together with a lot of glue. And when I took that off, it held together. The shelf was also dry, so I took the clamps off of that and then checked it out. It was a little warpy. But not real flat. But I was able to straighten out that warp when I glued on the back. I used my level with some clamps. Well, the drawer. Uh, I'm going to try to prettyify it a little bit. I know for my next project, I need to take a lot more time and just uh, be patient with things. And there'll be no time limit. So I'm just going to see what I can do. I sanded the edges. They look rough, but okay. The shelf glue was all dry, so I took those clamps off. I had glued in a drawer divider. That was dry. Now it's time to glue the shelf to the base. I think this is the last of the clamping I need to do. Hooray! And when that was dry, I took the last of the clamps off. So here it is basically. My mail station. I finished it up with some stain plus poly. It's dry! There it is! Let's go replace the other one that I have. This is the mail organizer that we had. And now I have this. I put the stamps in there and some tape and some pens some envelopes right here and I had to clear off a, a place on the shelf here for it so I think that's gonna work so thanks Sterling for having the palette challenge again this year and for it focusing on the wounded warrior project and I made a link below to everybody else's videos that made a project for this challenge so take a look down there in the description box and click on the link and watch those videos and thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time bye